Hi, Kate here from HypnoTC, the hypnotherapy training company. Rory and I often get asked, what can we do to become a hypnotherapist? Is it a case of just reading some books or going on a course? And in a way, your journey to becoming a hypnotherapist is a journey of your choosing. Now, some people will start by reading a good book on hypnotherapy. This might be Rory's book, Beginner's Guide to Hypnotherapy. It might be another book. And it's really useful to get an idea of what hypnotherapy is all about, particularly if you're not really that aware of what's going on in the hypnotherapy world. So you might read a book or two, and then you might to explore a little bit further, perhaps having a look online and seeing what else is out there. You might take a short introductory course to find out a little bit more. It can be useful to watch a few demonstrations. In fact, you might even have a look at the HypnoTC YouTube channel and get some more information that way. And that might spark a little bit more interest. So you can start to explore what's the right course for me. And you'll know the answer to that. However, we would like to share some really useful tips that we've found are really important when selecting just the right hypnotherapy training. First one is check out who the trainers are. Can you find out who the trainers are? Are they visible in the hypnotherapy world? Do they speak at conferences? Have they written books? Are they experienced at teaching? They may be a fantastic hypnotherapist, but can they actually convey to you how they do what they do? Are there any past students that you could talk to or listen to reviews from so that you get an understanding of what their experience was on the course that you're thinking about? There are other things that you can think about as well, such as, is there any practical? Can you actually go into the learning environment and practice the stuff straight away? Or do you have to wait until you get home and have a willing volunteer? Are you given course materials that support your learning? I'm sure you've been on certain courses, I have too, where you don't get much and you have to sit there all the time writing notes, worried that you're going to miss a really important word. So finding out how your tutors are, thinking about the practical aspects. What training materials are you going to get? What support is there? All of these are really important things, but I'd like to share with you a couple of things that might not be as important. And you might be thinking, hmm, are you sure? The first one is location. We often hear people say, ah, but you're not in my next town. Or I live in Northumberland. Have you got any trainers up here? And it's worth traveling for the right training. Because as some of our graduates have found, they've trained elsewhere because it was round the corner, a very short commute, but they didn't get what was right for them. So absolutely, look at where the course is located, but it may not be your strongest priority. What may be of the utmost priority to you is are you going to get the knowledge, the skills, the experience and the understanding to be able to do the job of being a hypnotherapist? And not just that, but to be able to run a hypnotherapy business as well. The other thing that may not be quite as important is that bit of paper that you get at the end. There can be all sorts of different titles and labels on a hypnotherapy certificate, diploma, master diploma, super wizard awesomeness diploma. However, does the training actually match the title? You can go online and find a hypnotherapy diploma for very little money. But will that take you on the right journey for you so that you can become a competent hypnotherapist? Possibly not. So think about what you actually need. Have a look at the various options. Absolutely. Start to compare 
what different organisations are offering so that you can truly find the right course for you. And I'm going to pass you over to Rory now and he's going to talk to you about our hypnotherapy diploma. Is it a sales pitch? Absolutely, but it also gives you a great way of benchmarking what else you're looking at. Absolutely look at other courses and see what you get because we know that what we give you is stuff that you really will need when you're working with clients. Over to Rory now. Thanks, Kate. Okay, so here's a little bit of information about the Hypno TC Diploma course. One thing that really sets our course apart is that you are taught by two trainers, not just one, but two. You get myself and Dr. Kate Bevan Marks. We both come from very different backgrounds. So Kate comes from a more scientific and academic background, and I come from a, I've, I've, I've done stage and street hypnosis and hypnotherapy from a more intuitive background as well. Um, so you get a, a mixture of the two and differing opinions so that you're able to learn that there's not just one way to do hypnotherapy, so you're able to tailor your own approach to suit you as an individual therapist, which is a fantastic place to start. In terms of the content of the course, there are many courses out there that will teach you just one specific therapy modality, like behavioral hypnotherapy or Ericksonian hypnotherapy or you know uh, cognitive hypnotherapy. With us, we like to cover all the bases and we offer a very holistic approach. So we cover cognitive, behavioral, analytical, Ericksonian, regression hypnotherapy. We also include various different therapy modalities that work well complementary to hypnotherapy, such as NLP and hypnotherapy, REBT and CBT and hypnotherapy, mindfulness and hypnotherapy, the list goes on. There's a lot of stuff in our course that you probably wouldn't find in other hypnotherapy courses, um, but that is very, very useful as a working hypnotherapist. It's really good to be able to adapt to the client, the person that you have in front of you, because they're all individuals. And regardless of what condition they have, whether they're a smoker or they have anxiety or stress, it's good to be able to tailor what you're doing to that specific client rather than just reading a script for that condition because a condition isn't a client. Clients are very individual and a smoking client is not the same as this smoking client, is not the same as the next smoking client, for example. So it's really good to be able to choose your approaches and cherry pick the right approach for that client. So your initial training kind of needs to be very broad in order to allow you the flexibility to be able to do that. In terms of the training hours, it's a really good idea that your training, which ours does, meets the core curriculum in the UK. And that sets out the, the content that you need to learn, and our course goes way above the content that's on the core curriculum, um, but also that the course meets the set amount of learning hours and homework hours. In total, the core curriculum suggests that a hypnotherapist needs a minimum of 450 hours of training. That's a combination of in-person training, so you, you you can't really, at this point anyway, um, meet the core curriculum if you're doing online training. So you have to do in-person training to meet that, to get to that standard. So you've got 120 hours of face-to-face in-person training, which we offer on our course. We actually do 130 hours <laughs> and 330 minimum hours of homework. So it's a fairly big commitment with homework. But if you consider it from a, you know, a professional perspective, if you're looking to learn any kind of brand new career, you're looking at investing way more time than just that 450 hours. Now, if you wanted to become a psychologist or a doctor or a dentist, that's years and years of training. So hypnotherapy is actually relatively quick. Our diploma course is structured on a month by month basis. So you do one weekend a month for 10 months. That gives you ample time in between the weekends in order to do your homework. That's the reason that, well, that's one of the reasons that we don't do intensive chunks and intensive of courses just because the memory retention it just isn't the same you'll do like a seven day course we could split our course into three seven day chunks you'd probably remember about two days worth of that material if that um, so by doing it month by month one weekend a one a month you get time to digest all of that information to do all of your related homework and to practice as well and practice is super important you get to practice in class with your fellow classmates you get to see Kate and myself do loads and loads of demonstrations and we also have all of the demonstrations that we do recorded on our student learning center so you can see those and look back at them through the course as well as a whole bunch of other lectures and things that we don't do in class because we want to optimize the classroom time so you get the best possible experience so all in all 
by doing a really holistic broad training, by spreading your training over a longer period to let that information sink in, by choosing a blended learning approach. So you're doing classroom training in person, you get a chance to interact with people, with your fellow students, with your tutors to ask questions, to get practice, and also by doing all of this homework that's geared to making you a successful, confident hypnotherapist. That is really, truly the best starting point for you to become a working hypnotherapist. However, that said, it's not even necessarily something that you have to do full time. It's something that you could choose to do part time to supplement another income or career that you have. It's something that we've had a lot of people come on the course who have retired already and they just want something extra to do for a little bit of money, but also to give back and to help others. And that's really fantastic that you know people are spending their time after retiring doing that. It's also something that works fantastically, along, fantastically alongside other complementary therapies. So for massage therapists, Reiki practitioners, you know, reflexologists, you name it, we've had complementary therapists training to use hypnotherapy as a standalone alongside their business, but also incorporating it into their businesses too. That's all I'm gonna say right now about a hypnotherapy diploma course, because I know you're probably shopping around right now and looking for the right option, but check out the link in the description below that will take you over to the HypnoTC website where you can check out our full syllabus, which is a big syllabus, um, and you can compare it against any other courses that you're thinking about. And if at any point you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us either in the comments below or via the website. All of our contact details are there. You could even sign up to one of our free taster or discovery events where you can come along and meet us either online or in person here at our fantastic five-star training venue, the Royal Horse Guards Hotel, which is in central London, really easy to get to. Um, but yeah, anytime you have any questions and you want to take your hypnotherapy training further, by all means get in touch with us because we are always happy to help. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on a course soon.